Hello everyone. We are going to see how to set up a multiple level of project in SQL accounting. Let's go to cash book entry. New PV. As you see in all the documents, there is only one field of project. Customer will ask how to set two levels or three levels of project. To do this first, we can go to tools, maintain project. Maintain all the projects in flatten view. In my example here, there are two levels. As you can see, Australia P1, P2, P3, Malaysia P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and so on. So you can up to three levels, four levels, five levels, and so on. But we have to do some settings. We need to do range editor. Right click, show range editor. Mask you can leave it blank. Then I need to tell the system, from character 1, to character 4. Let's say Australia, Malaysia, Singapore is main project. Then, character 5 to character 6 is sub-project or maybe is a job. If you have level 3, level 4, you can maintain accordingly. As long as 20 character for the project field. The data entry screen will be keyed in as normal. But under the reporting, let's say profit and loss report. There are some format is for project comparison. Six columns are in portrait, 10 and 19 columns will be in landscape. If you viewing one project each time, then you can select here. Now I want to view 10 columns, tick the print project comparison. There is a tab at your right hand side, you can call it out. Then the system is able to read the project code and convert it into multiple levels in a tree view. In one glance you can know your project levels. Why we design in tree view? This is because we can easily rearrange. And make it also can be compared by total of P1 versus total of P2. Move the job option up. Then click apply. We can just tick, and then the system will add in. This is very flexible for us to compare. What if we want to compare current month of P1, current month of P2 and current quarter of P1? Then we can tick the show column options. This is the advanced feature. When we select column options, by default is current month. Now I want to compare current quarter, so we can choose current quarter. Then choose the project P1. Add. So now you can see current month P1, current month P2, and current quarter P1. Then apply the report. This is how we use our projects and this makes us different from other software. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.